Net working capital is the difference between current assets and current liabilities. If current assets are greater than current liabilities, this means that net working capital is positive and firm has enough amount of cash to pay off its current liabilities. And if the net working capital is negative, this means current assets are lesser than the current liabilities. Now, the firm would have shortage of cash in order to pay off its liabilities when they become due. As I have said that net working capital is the difference between current assets and current liabilities. But if we want to define this term properly, we would say that net working capital is the amount financed by shareholders or owners to finance the op operating cycle activities in a business concern. A positive net working capital shows a good sign for the firm. This means that firm has enough resources to pay off its liabilities, but this another mean that investment from fixed assets have been transferred to current assets. Now, the firm has been succeeded in improving its liquidity. But on the other hand, as the cash has been transferred from fixed assets to current assets, the firm may have suffered due on account of certain profitability amount this means that there is a relationship between liquidity and profitability and this relationship is of inverse nature. Means that higher the liquidity, lesser will, would be the profitability. But if a net working capital is negative, this means that firm's liquidity has been disturbed. But this other mean that from longer term resources or longer term debt, funds have been flown to the current liabilities. Now, this may again create a problem for the firm because long term funds when transferred to current liabilities may not be available for the firm to earn enough return on such funds to provide returns back to their providers. So a firm has to create a balance between long-term funds and short-term funds, between long-term assets and short-term assets, so that firm's liquidity and profitability may not be disbalanced. When we talk about net working capital, it is important to note that for growing firm, net working capital is generally a positive value because for the growing firm, the firm continuously need to invest in their current assets. So these types of firms has, have generally positive net working capital. To understand net working capital in terms of the change, we can see an example on the screen. We use current assets and current liabilities for two years, 2015 and 2014. We see that for the year 2015, the net working capital is $275 million and for 2014, the net working capital is $252 million. The net change over the period is $23 million. So this is called as change in net working capital. There is a difference between net working capital and cash flows. Both may not be the same. Misal ke par, अगर एक फर्म अपनी इन्वेंटरी को कैश के बदले में सेल कर देती है, तो there is a cash flow to the firm, but there is no change in the current assets, so there would be no change in the net working capital. So it is important to understand the difference between net working capital and cash flows.